come with me to the rolling sea while the weather's calm and still. And we'll have some fun and laughter with the adventures of Portland Bill. This is my lighthouse on the Guillemot Rock. I was in the living room with my lads. Ross, in his red hat, <laughs> and Cromarty. You know, I says, it's a lovely sunny day. I think it's time we did a spot of cleaning. Let's whitewash the outside of the lighthouse. And Cromarty agreed. Good idea, Bill. But first, I'll just clean up these jam tarts. All right, then, I said. Mm, I'll just pop up to the service room and see what the weather has in store for us. We'll be about ten minutes. Now, patience ain't one of Cromarty's virtues, and he thought that ten minutes was far too long to wait. So he and Ross decided to surprise me by starting the whitewashing right away. Come on, Ross. All right. Oh, we'll soon have this done said Cromarty. You know, I always had a talent for art. Cromarty the Creator, they used to call me. I could have been a famous painter. The Leonardo da Vinci of Dunbar. Look out, cried Ross, but he was too late. Cromarty had tripped over the bucket of whitewash. Jumping jellyfish! I've heard of throwing yourself into your work, but that's ridiculous! <laughs> Cromarty couldn't see the funny side of it at all. He'd splashed paint on the door, and he knew he'd be in trouble if I saw the mess he'd made. But Ross had a plan. Don't worry. You clean up the whitewash, and I'll keep Bill inside. Oh, hi there, Bill. The weather's a bit changeable out there. I'd wrap up warm if I were you. <laughs> well, I knew that was nonsense. <laughs> it's a lovely sunny day, I said. Well... Why don't you stay in here while I check on the weather with the Met Office? When he got to the service room, he quickly tore up some waste paper. Then he pretended to radio the Met Office. Hello, is that the Meteorological Office? Ooh, sudden snowstorms, eh? And he scattered the small pieces of paper out of the window. I was checking me log when I saw what appeared to be snowflakes drift past the window. Told you, Bill, that the weather was going to change, cried Ross. You'd better not go outside while it's snowing. Snowing? <laughs> well, I had to laugh. <laughs> By now, Ross thought he'd best go and see how Cromedy was getting on. What's your Cromedy? Oh, uh, there you are, Ross. I've cleaned it all up, and I've decided to give the door a lick of paint. Shall I paint it blue? No, 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 better leave it red. Bill's sure to notice the change, replied Ross. Then he raced back upstairs to make sure I was still busy. I wouldn't go out in this blizzard, panted Ross, as he ran upstairs to see what the weather had in store for us next. My guess would have been an hurricane, but I was wrong. Oh, dear, Bill, now it's starting to rain. Oh, that's odd. I just decided to listen to the radio when Cromarty strolled in covered in paint and called upstairs. But Ross, you can tell the Met Office that the rain can stop uh, now. By the way, Bill, I managed to whitewash the porch for you. Have you, by Jove? I said, try it to sound surprised. You must have had better weather on your side of the lighthouse. <laughs> Cromarty was very proud of his handiwork, and rightly too. It was a fine job, but I couldn't let those two get away with it. I've known what you two had been up to all along. Seemed like the only way to get the job done quickly was to go along with your plan. <laughs> Changeable weather indeed. <laughs> Tell you what, I'd like the door painted blue, just for a change. Oh, come with me to the rolling sea while the weather's calm and still. And we'll have some fun and laughter with the adventures of Portland Bill.